Of course they're going to pick the Irish Vahid. They're here to root on Notre Dame and see if these Irish can get a win over this Louisville Cardinal team. And of course, you know, we've already heard from Rick Pitino. He told us that Mike Bray was a very good, young, talented basketball player back when he coached him in high school. And, of course, Bray went on to play basketball at George Washington. So we know that he's got talent as a player and now as a head coach. But how about some of those hidden talents? Well, we caught up with Coach Bray to find out what he does to relieve some stress in this stress-filled world of college basketball. I tell you, it's fun to watch that group play. Drop, drop, drop the B line. Now a nice pass, two-hand dunk out to Ryan. Another three on the way, and another three is good. It's not a fluger who flies through the air. In the up-tempo world of college basketball, beat him for the two-handed jam. Sometimes coaches need to slow down their rhythm. The way Mike Bray does it. You just want me playing a little? <laughs> boom, boom. Through music. It puts you in a whole different frame of mind. I mean, you're just, you're thinking music, you're thinking rhythm, I'm not thinking about recruiting. It's kind of a release. Mike grew up around music and took up playing the drums when he was seven years old. My uncle Tommy uh, lived up in Pennsylvania about four hours from the DC area where I was raised and he had a set and he played in a little local band, nothing big, and when I would visit my uncle I'd get up on the drums and I thought that was fun to play and then he kind of showed me some stuff and it kind of became a passion of mine along with playing basketball at a young age. And that passion only grew. You know, I remember getting a drum set for Christmas when I was probably 10 and you know, played that, put my uh, sister's record player on and try and keep up to different songs. Um, so it was, it's always been in my blood. So do you think back when maybe, you know, you're in elementary school, if you got asked what you want to be when you grow up, did you want to be a rock and roll star or did you want to be a basketball I coach? was a basketball guy. You know, it's funny, one uncle was a drummer. My other uncle played guard at Duke, my uncle Jack, and I wanted to be like my uncle Jack. I, I, and so the basketball passion took over the drumming passion but in the off season, the drumming passion's right there with the basketball passion. Now it's my outlet. Like for example, this is called a paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. That's a drill. The basketball player in him always found a way to connect the music to the sport. Well, paradiddle was like doing a ball handling drill in basketball. It's an athletic eye-hand coordination rhythm. I mean. A lot of practice to be good at it. And that practice paid off. His skills on the drums have caught the attention of other musicians locally. Since I've been in town, I've kind of circled back a little bit by help of Viagra Falls and Dr. Jesse. They've recruited me and they let me sit in and, and, and they play easy songs so I can keep up with them. And on the big stage as well. Dirty basketball coach Mike Bray on drums. Let's kick it up a little. I got to play with Todd Rundgren, bang on the drum all day, a song that I used to listen to back in the 80s, 70s, and when I was a high school guy. But uh, that was really neat experience, and and, uh, and he went easy on me, you know. He was coaching me up and giving me confidence. I was very intimidated playing with him singing it uh, back in the fall. But it's the boss that really gets him going. You know, I'm, I'm a big Springsteen guy. That was my era. You know, when I was going to school at GW, a lot of the student body was from New Jersey. So everybody had those albums, and I got hooked on them back in the 80s there. While he has seen Springsteen in concert five times, Mike says he likes all types of music. You know, jazz on game day, up until an hour before the game, keeps me a little down here instead of anxious and, you know, Sunday, uh, you know, so reggae, I, I, lo I love it all. Hi, hat guy. Even using music as a way to connect with his players. Now, do the guys on, on your team try to, you know, get you into the hip hop and the rap and stuff? And, and I feel I'm a hip hop fan because we have music going the first 15 minutes of practice. And BJ Beecham, since he's the captain, it's his iPod plugged into the speaker. And so I know them all. And before the game in the locker room, there's music going like, I, I know the top 10 hits. I've heard them now for about five months. <laughs> cut it, cut it. Yeah, I'll never forget uh, going into the Stephen F. Austin game. This song was hot last year called Cut It. 
and like it was planned and then he was coming out getting ready to go into the game and he's like you gotta cut it I'm a big Jay-Z guy I, I really love his stuff of course I feel connected to him we played so well in Brooklyn and and uh, Barclay Center is kind of his baby, so maybe there's a little connection there with the Irish and Jay Z. A little connection that Bray hopes. This is called a ride symbol. That's riding. I'm just keeping beat. Will help keep the beat, whether his Irish are crashing boards. Slam home. Crash there. Or he's crashing symbols. That's a crash, baby. We're crashing on that. How cool is Mike Bray? I mean, seriously, that was so incredible for him to allow us to set up a drum set here on this court and just to go out there and have some fun with it. I, I think that's great. I don't know any other college basketball coach at this level that would let us do something like that. So thank you so much to Coach Bray and, of course, to Alan for setting all that up. We really appreciate it. And if you'd like to have a chance to maybe see Mike Bray play the drums in person, you can come out. I'm actually going to have a charity benefit concert for my charity one good deed michiana on february 18th it's saturday at vegetable buddies in downtown south bend and i've already talked to, talked to coach bray and he said that he would love to come out and bang on the drums so uh, we're going to hold him to that and you can get some more information on that on my facebook page coming up really soon so while we are getting very close to this game getting ready to tip off we're going to send it out one last time to our vahid sanrazadi with more 